athletes. If you've been Googling some things about food guides or anything like that, you've probably come across something called If It Fits Your Macros. <clears throat> so if you, don't under if you don't know what this is, let me describe it to you. So macros, macronutrients, your carbs, fats, and proteins. A lot of people go based off of how many of those they need. How many carbs, fats, and proteins do I need each day to get to my goal? So If It Fits Your Macros is a nutrition plan, to my understanding, where... You can eat anything you want as long as you don't exceed the macronutrients that we've selected for you. So if they say you need this many carbs, fats, and proteins, as long as you don't go over that, you're good. Okay? So that means if you want to go to, so let's say you want to go to McDonald's. Yeah, in, with their program, every single day you could have a Big Mac with large fries and a Coca-Cola, okay? Just so long as at the end of the day, maybe you get your proteins from a protein shake. You know what? Have five scoops of protein because McDonald's doesn't really provide you that much protein. And you know what? You got your carbs and your fats. Hey, you need a few more carbs, so why don't you have some candy with that? Okay, so let's say you have six scoops of protein every day, a Big Mac, large fries, a full sugar Coke, a, let's say a 32 ouncer, and some candy when you get home. If it fits your macros, you're good. How do you think I feel about that? It's my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, that the carbohydrates you get from sugar, from flour, from brown rice, are very different. Energy-wise, a gram of carbohydrate provides you four calories of energy. That is so true. So true. But if your hormones are thrown off, your sleep patterns are thrown off, your ability to recover, your inflammation goes up because of a food, that is having a harmful or more harmful effect on you than the foods that don't. Okay? You are more likely to have those hormonal hormonal effects from highly processed and refined foods, okay? If it fits your macros, in my opinion, is perfect on a cheat day. Let's say it's it's been 29 days since you've had any bad foods, you're going out, maybe it's Valentine's Day, and you want to have a brownie dessert with ice cream, with pasta, with all of this stuff, you're going to take your you know, fiance out wherever, cool, okay? You know that you need a certain amount of macronutrients in your life, and for this one day this month, you're gonna use if it fits your macros so that you don't overeat. More power to you, that's how I want you to use it, okay? But, in my opinion, I don't I don't believe that having your Big Mac, your fries, your Coke with, with candy is the same as if you were to eat real brown rice, if you were to have maybe some eggs or some meat or some fish or some brown rice yellow pea protein or some maybe not soy, but getting it from whole foods, in my opinion, is very different than getting it from a McDonald's or anything. Not to diss McDonald's, okay? I'm not saying don't go there, but what I am saying is that I don't believe that the carbs, fats, and proteins you get from a burger, let's say, is going to be the same as if you had some grass-fed beef with some brown rice on the side with some broccolini, okay? I'm not, with some maybe coconut oil on it. I'm not saying that those are going to affect your body the same because in my opinion, they don't. And for me, they really don't. If I have a bunch of sugar, if I have that burger, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to be... Holy cow, okay? But if I have all the other stuff, same macros, same fats, carbs, and proteins, exactly the same. This one over here, the broccolini, maybe the steak, maybe that's what I'll do, grass-fed steak with some brown rice, same carbs, same fats, same protein content. I'm going to feel way better over here, okay? So, no. I don't recommend doing if it fits your macros every day. But hey, if it works for you, it works for you.